Hey guys, and welcome back to the next installment of attempting to reupholster this bench. Um, as you can see, the kitty loves it. Hey kitty! So, um, because I'm totally new to this, I have some primitive tools. I have scissors, needle nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. So, we're just going to see how far we go. Most of this video might be sped up, um, and probably the pets will come over and see what's going on. So yeah, we're going to start digging in. Okay. So I think we're going to start with doing the Yeah, so I think the order of things was the middle was done and then the sides and then the arm and then this is kind of like a capping. So I want to save whatever is used for this, which are these like, they're like tack strips, kind of like what you would find. Um, holding down your carpet. So we gotta keep these. If, if I, I mean, if I can, of course, put this back the way I found it. Okay, so I figured I'd do a little bit of voice over here just because I talk here and there and I just figured it'd be easier. So as you can see the dog in the background, I'm actually dog sitting that's Jasper <laughs> um, so yeah um, I ended up using the needle nose pliers a lot because it's just you know better than using your fingers of course um, but the, the fabric was pretty old so it would tear as I was removing it and I tried to remove as many staples as I could just so that I don't end up running into those staples with my you know my other stapling job that I will be doing um, but the order of things was actually remove this side panel and then remove the front bottom panel and then the arm and then the seat so with these legs um, they had screws um, which I thought was it, but it actually has a screw inside of it also. So those actually twist off. So you'll see that later on, which I was surprised. So they are not, they're not um, just stuck on with screws, which is good because then, you know, it's actually stronger with um, all that. Um, I just took out that little pin there, which is the button. Um, so that's just like a nail. But I think I'm going to try to avoid using that again. I just, I don't really enjoy that style. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult with me because I'm not using, you know, a nailer. I'm just using my own, you know, little staple gun over here. So it's just going to be hard because they put like, you know, 20 staples in that little tiny spot there. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the fabric to stay nicely with just a staple gun so I'm gonna probably try to gather all the fabric underneath the arm right in that corner there so we'll see when we get there I'm not quite finished yet when I'm um, doing this voiceover so um, actually I am going on to do the arm next so yeah you'll see how that worked out. I was doing some research. I couldn't really find much on YouTube for a rolled arm chair. So I'm kind of slash winging it slash taking what I've seen from one tutorial that I found. But yeah, and then there's also that little piece of um, piping there, which was a plastic piping. And so I just took that out and I'm going to make that again with the fabric I have and then insert that plastic piece of piping again to try to achieve the same look. So the arms were really difficult to take apart but it, you know it, with, it was manageable. It took me a lot longer to 
deconstruct this than I thought. <laughs> So for the next part, I'm going to show you guys how I put the foam on. I got new foam for the arms. I got a new foam for the seat cushion. I also have some batting. I made the seat cushion a little bit thicker also. So this was about a three inch thick foam. I'm putting four inches and I just assume that the top layer is probably going to flatten over time. Um, I was keeping all the pieces so that I could kind of use them as a guide for measuring the pieces from the new fabric um, but I really didn't want this fabric in my house any any longer so I just took some measurements I wrote them down and I threw them out because the fabric is so old that it was creating dust on the floor oh my god it was so gross but I'm super excited to have this nice new fresh fabric so I hope you are enjoying this little series hopefully you're getting something out of it um, it's really wonderful to be able to go and find something really cheap and be able to redo it. So it really is worth it in the end. Um, so this leg actually, it has a big bolt in it that's screwed on and then an additional two screws. So I didn't realize that at first I thought I was, I would have to break it off or something. I was like, I took the screws out and it wasn't releasing and I'm like, what is going on? But then I realized that it's screwed on. So. That's awesome, so it's nice and strong, but when you actually take this whole thing apart, you can see that the arms are actually have cardboard on them, and I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it's amazing what they can do and then cover it up and make look beautiful. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this little series so far. If you are, you know, if you wanna follow along, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy videos like this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.